On April 1st, 2021, Valorant released the Mage Punk Skin Collection, a steampunk inspired skin collection having a Marshall, Ghost, Spectre, Bucky, and Knife, with Oniram describing it as follows. This is our sort of take on like, what would steampunk be if it was sort of reimagined? Funny enough, this was a skin that, probably one of the first skins that we ended up working on. Um, I think this was back in May of 2019. Being worked on as early as May of 2019. Following the infantry collection, the Mage Punk skins are fully upgradable with three different variants and finishers, including unique firing animations like this. This has one of my favorite animations, and you can see that we have like the the glass sort of opened up here that you kind of get that like uh, fuel gauge or, or meter. Again, non-functional, just more aesthetic. Uh, but when you fire here, it's one of those things that like most of the times when you have a firing action on the weapons, it's like something goes back and forth once and you kind of like blink and you miss it. And we felt like this was a really nice opportunity to just like let it go and just kind of like slow, slow to a crawl at the end. Also, upon upgrading the knife, in addition to having three variant choices of pink, green, and orange, it also gives you an equip animation. You'll also notice that the electrical effects don't actually become active until you swing the knife. With all of the upgrade variants adding in electrical effects inside of a Tesla tube, and some adding little meters to the guns, this would classify the skin collection's tier to be a premium edition. However, when the Mage Punk released, it was charged at $87, or 8,700 Valorant points. And as previously discussed in one of my videos, this was by a complete mistake, creating controversy amongst players. Valorant quote-unquote pressed the wrong button when releasing the skin collection, and what was supposed to launch as a premium skin collection instead launched as an exclusive skin collection, hiking the price up from what was supposed to be 7,100 Valorant points, or $71, to what a lot of players spent being $87, or 8,700 Valorant points. Those are all the facts surrounding the Valorant Mage Punk skin collection. Now it's time for me to give you my opinion on whether or not you should buy or save, and why. In my video where I discussed why the price of the Mage Punk skin collection was changed, I stated that I think Radiant Knight should be cheap, if not free. And if you wanted to quite literally have the finisher on every single weapon, you would pay upward to $300 at a minimum. The upgrades for the weapons themselves cost more money than the actual skin collection. Moving onward, Riot has a very keen attention to detail as I've praised before in the past. The attention to detail is quite stunning and satisfying to look at. And exactly as Oniram said, it's a spin on their version of Steampunk. However, my biggest gripe with this is that these skins look entirely too similar to the previous skin collection being the infantry skin set. And while I totally understand that they all have to resemble their prospective weapons, it's unfortunate that this skin collection had two of the same weapons that the previous one had. And to reinforce my argument, players were very disappointed with the ghost from the infantry collection resembling a Luger and not having a reload animation that would be similar and complementary to such while the Mage Punk does, seeing it as a missed opportunity. And in regards to missed opportunities moving forward with the conversation, they added in another Bucky skin. When the whole aesthetic of the Mage Punk skin set is steampunk and Tesla electricity tubes, the Judge would have been the perfect gun to give a Mage Punk skin to. I do not know why we got another Bucky skin. The drum could have been a Tesla tube. The Judge already doesn't have a lot of skins. We do not need more Bucky skins. People pretty much only equip the Ion Bucky skin anyways. But to give some praise where it's due, I think the Mage Punk Marshall is maybe one of like three upgradable Marshall skins that have finishers on them. The Mage Punk skin collection was developed in 2019, and I understand that they might not have a say in when they launch things, but they really need to be considerate of what they're launching, and not have too much weapons resemble the previous skin collection before it. And that's where this one really misses the mark. And for buy or save, I think to better help you guys understand if you should buy or save these skin collections that I review, I'm going to start reviewing them with ratings out of five. For the infantry collection, I give it a three out of five. For the current Mage Punk skin collection that we're reviewing, this is a 1.5 out of five for me, with the pros and cons listed as follows. The Mage Punk has an insanely cool finisher being this like electrifying execution type thing where you're trapped inside of a light bulb being shocked to death. It's awesome to look at. Looks good, it sounds good, it is good. The unique fantasy steampunk theme, giving us another martial skin with a finisher when there isn't a lot already, and a pretty cool knife. But where it falls short, unfortunately, it has an absurd price at $71. All of this is arbitrary, but 
just following what we go off of in Valorant, this is absolutely not worth the price. Maybe the knife alone is worth being purchased by itself. This is a glorified infantry collection with upgrades, having a mix of wood and metals. There's no Vandal or Phantom. We were given two weapons from the previous collection, and I don't know why, especially when one of them was the Bucky. The knife animation is way too similar to the Prime 2.0 knife or Blast X knife, which is bad because a lot of people didn't like that. And of course, it's botched launch, where players paid more money than they were supposed to pay and were only refunded in Valorant points which is a complete scam. And to answer the question, if you should buy or save this. I'm saving. I just truly cannot recommend the skin set to be bought by anybody. In the instance that you would buy this, I would hope it's to have either a Marshall because you don't have one or a Ghost because you don't have one with a finisher. Possibly the knife because the knife on its own is pretty cool. But with an abysmal price, a 1.5 rating for me, I just cannot say that this is a buy. Let me know what you think. If you made it this far into the video, comment buy or save, depending on if you would like to buy or save the Mage Punk skin collection. I hope that you enjoyed this review. As always, I'm Justin, and you're not. Like the video if you did enjoy, and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in the next one.